In this Excel video, I will show you how to create a QR code using Excel's new template, the QR code generator. This is gonna be fun, let's get started. So here I am in Excel, and if I want to use the QR code generator template, all I have to do is click here on the File tab, and it takes me to the Backstage view. And for now, you can see the new QR code generator template right here. If you don't happen to see that, you could try going here to the upper right and clicking on More Templates, and and then just do a search for QR code. And that should bring it up if you have a modern version of Microsoft Excel. I've also included this template in the description below the video. You'll see a download link, so you can go there. But I'll just double click here on the generator template. It opens up, and most of the work has already been done for you by Microsoft. All you need to do is put in a valid URL web address into this cell, and then make some choices. And the QR code will be created for you. So I've clicked here where it says bing.com, and I'm just gonna paste in the address for one of my other YouTube channels. This is my synth pop reviews music YouTube channel. It's awesome. So I've pasted the URL in here and let's say I want more people to go to this YouTube channel and subscribe. I can make that pretty easy for them by just pasting in that URL, tapping enter. Next, I can choose the style of the QR code. Is square okay, or do I want to change that? If I click here on this drop down button, I can change it to a gapped square. You can see the results here. I could change it to a rounded square, a circle. And so as you can see, as I change the QR code style, the QR code itself is still pretty much in a square. It's just what makes up that square. Horizontal bars, vertical bars, circles, or other. Next, I can change the color gradient if I want to, from solid fill to radial, so it puts a little bit of a fade onto the QR code. What about square? Again, there's a fade going on there. You can also do horizontal or vertical. I'm just gonna stick with solid fill. Next, background color. Again, there's a drop down button here, and I can change the background color to green, to purple, red, orange, whatever I choose. And the fill color. By default, it should be black, but if you want, you can change it to red, gray, blue, whatever you want. It's also possible to have a second fill color. Now, if you select a second fill color, let's say white in this case, you'll notice that nothing changes, nothing happens. The reason for that is because I have solid fill selected. But if I switch from solid fill to let's say radial fill now it updates and now you can see the purpose of the color gradient it's not just a fade it's actually trying to transition the color from fill color one to fill color two if there is one selected i do prefer actually the solid fill so i'm switching back to that and now if i use my smartphone camera or any other qr code reader and i scan this qr code it will take me directly to a wonderful YouTube channel about synth pop music. So this is a great little QR code generator that's built in to this Excel template. It's a relatively new template and it makes it so that you don't have to go to the internet to create your QR codes. Just do it right inside Excel. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, thank you so much to my super techie channel supporters. I really appreciate appreciate what you do to support the channel. Thank you.